Hey friends! Do you want any one of these five types of freedom in life? Or want all of them? What freedom I am talking about? First is, obviously financial freedom. Means, lack of money. Freedom of money. Second is, work freedom. Means, freedom from the work you have to do even if you don't want to do. Third, freedom of not depending on anyone. Fourth, freedom from a mediocre life. Means that living and die as a mediocre person. And last, freedom from hyperreality. About which I talked in last video. If you want any one of these all freedoms then today's video is going to be very useful for you. In the last video, I told about this diagram, which you can say, is a trap which can call matrix. Due to which 99% of the people live as mediocre, they aren't able to do something big or achieve something big. And live in an illusion. This is a very big problem for them. In that video, I explained all the problems one by one, but what is the solution? For solution, I'll explain this diagram from the same book of MJ DeMarco. If you understand this diagram, you'll get all the solutions, which if you follow, then you can achieve all those freedom about which I talked earlier. With the help of which you can get out of matrix. I'll tell all the things but there is a request, if you haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe, I keep sharing all the valuable things, that are of paid course level, every week with you for free. It will take nothing just subscribe if I get your support then I will feel better in sharing all these things. That's why, in order to appreciate, subscribe and press the bell icon, if you haven't pressed. Now let's come the main things, if you want to achieve all these freedoms, then all this starts from a moment. Tony Robbins also talks about it, that people think that they have to do big things to change their lives, will have to invest a lot of time, only then they can change their life. But this is wrong. You can start changing your life in a moment. Sometimes, a moment is enough. Maybe you know some people who used to smoke, but when they enter the relationship they quit smoking and all other bad habits. They change themselves in a some moments. Similarly, people change big things in a moment. And these events are very powerful. MJ DeMarco call these events, FTE events, means fuck that event. These moments comes in all of our lives, when we can't tolerate, and we think, this is enough. Now I have to do something. I have to become rich. Now I have to achieve financial freedom. Have to make a lot of money. Have to bring changes in life. In my life, such moments have come many times, due to which I brought all such changes. If such event hasn't come in your life yet then I want that this video become that event for you. That's why. If you want then comment below, yes, I will change my future. And it won't start from tomorrow or day after tomorrow. You are going to start it from today after watching this video. This FTE, fuck that event, sometimes it's real and sometimes it's fake. It becomes fake because of four threats. What are those four threats are? First if, mediocre life. If I ask you, what is the enemy of a very good life? Bad life? No. It's not bad life. Mediocre life is the biggest enemy. Because if there is bad thing, then people do something to change that. But when there is mediocre life just enough, when there is good thing then people don't move towards the best life. Comfort is the number one killer of dreams. That's why stay away from it. Second thing, that you have to avoid to produce real FTE event, that is guarded ego and pride. I see many such people who have big degrees. But they are not doing anything in their life. Why? Because their ego is very high. Sometimes they get work, they get job offers but they say I have worked very hard to get this big degree and I will do for such money? I will work just here. Not possible. And sometimes this high ego and pride doesn't let that real FTE event come in their life. Whereas you would have seen, the entrepreneurs who have to change their life they don't think about such small things. That's why they keep working for weeks, months without money. Because their dreams are big for them, not their ego. Third, responsibility. Sometimes, people take too much responsibility unknowingly, due to which they are not able to do big things in their life. And the last that is most common thing is fear. The real FTE event doesn't get scared from anything. That what will happen now? What will happen next what if money didn't come what if the business didn't work what if the YouTube channel that I made, didn't work? They don't think about all these things. 
they just take decision and start taking actions. If you stay away from these four things only then the FTE moment will be able to come. Once this event comes in your life then the most important step is 3B. What are 3BS? As you can see in this diagram 3B stands for beliefs, biases and. First let's talk about beliefs. Authors say, real FTE moment comes in the life of people they are ready to do all the things they don't fear, they don't let ego interfere they want to escape mediocre life, they overcome responsibility but still their belief isn't strong. And they are not able to do anything because of weak belief. Author says, there are eight types of wrong beliefs in our mind, which we have to throw out from our mind, in order to achieve freedom in life. What are those eight beliefs? First is, the shortcut scam. Whenever I go in the events or when I do live, then many people by listening the question I understand that he is trying to find out the solution he is trying to find that magic pill which he thinks, he gets then he will become a successful person. All of us think that that rich person knows some secrets there is a magical shortcut way which he is not telling me, which if I get to know, then I will become rich or will achieve my freedoms. But this is not true. And this is called the shortcut scam. Because many times, because of this belief, people make and sell such products which is fake. That buy our course and you will get slim in 7 days. Take this course and you will become a big YouTuber in 1 month. If someone is saying all these big things, if he is trying to sell get rich quick things or shortcuts, then most probably, he would be wrong. Because the truth is, 99% of the people focus on the events. That he earned $1 million then they focus on that event. And there are just 1% people who understand the power of focus. To reach that event, to make those $1 million he has worked hard for many years. That's why stay away from this belief. Second belief, from which you have to escape, the special scam. You can say, there are two types of people in this scam. Both are wrong. First are those people who think that, in order to achieve something big, in order to achieve big dreams they require such talent which they don't have. Or second type of people, who think if I have to achieve all the things if I have to become a millionaire, then I already have that talent, which will help me to become a millionaire. But the truth is, both these things are not true, both these things point towards fixed mindset, where people think that the talent they have is fixed. But the thing is, if you keep working in any field then you will keep getting the knowledge of that field, and you can achieve all those things which someone else has achieved. If you have to become good in finance, then study the finance for 5 years make videos related to it, go to mentor and learn from them, trust me, in 5 years, you will become the finance guru. This is the difference of growth mindset and fixed mindset. People with growth mindset understand that if they invest time, effort and energy and will keep learning things, then they can achieve anything. People with fixed mindset don't think about it. So, to break this belief you have to remember the Kaizen principle. If you would have heard about it. Kaizen says you can do daily improvements on daily basis that will keep taking you above. And for that, there are three points to focus. First, try to achieve mastery. Whatever you want to do, try to become the best in it. By putting daily efforts. Second, focus on making tiny improvements. It's not that you have to do multiple things at once. If you keep doing small things daily, then it will keep helping you. And third, most important is, while doing it, you don't have to do comparison. What others are doing on social media, you don't have to focus on all those things. You have to put maximum focus on yourself. Then the third belief that won't let you move forward that is the consumption scam. Since childhood, we have been keep getting things for free. When you used to feel hungry and cry your parents used to come fast to give you food. So, since childhood we believe we have to cry and we will get things for free. Especially those parents who fulfill every wish of their kid, this scam happens with those the most. Consumption scam, where they think that I keep consuming and things will keep happening. Whereas the entrepreneurs who are able to break the matrix they understand that if they have to do something then they will have to become creator not consumer. Nothing happens for free. You will have to invest time, energy and money to achieve something great. That's why remember some things, don't follow the herd, lead it. Don't choose the way that all are choosing. Focus on new ways. Instead of buying franchise focusing on giving franchise. Instead of living on rent focus on taking rent. Instead of buying big brands focus on making big brands. 
Instead of good salaries, focus on hiring people on good salaries. Instead of waiting for big sales, focus on giving big sales. Don't follow the latest trend, sell the latest trend. Don't keep buying stocks, start selling them. In broad way, you have to believe that becoming a creator will take you forward in life, not consumption. Next belief is the money scam. This is a painting of da Vinci, named Salvatore. Saudi Arabia has bought this painting for $450 million. And this is how much it is in Indian rupees. If a normal person sees it, he will say, what's in this painting? But no, there must be some reason, due to which people have given so much money for that. And that is called, intrinsic value. See, there are two types of values. Intrinsic value and extrinsic value. Like, for example some money is spent to make the mic, I have. Expenditure of making this steel road, expenditure of making circuit in it, expenditure of making wire. If you consider the money spent to make it, that is called the intrinsic value. But the extrinsic value is that how much money people are ready to pay and what is its worth. So, what you have to focus on you have to focus on intrinsic value and extrinsic value, both. Not just on money. Sometimes, people focus on money but you have to focus on value. What's the intrinsic value or extrinsic value of that thing? When you start understanding that and by becoming creator when you will start making the extrinsic value of your products only then you will be able to do a lot. Remember, people focus on perceived value. Anything that you want to sell people will buy that thing only when they understand the value of that thing. And you have to make them perceive the value, and you have to explain, how much value that product has. The tea or coffee in Starbucks if you see that then any poor person will say, it's not worth it. Intrinsic value is very less but still the extrinsic value is very high. Why? They have created such environment. They have created such a brand. Start focusing on perceived value more than money it will make you rich. Fifth belief that you have to avoid is, the poverty scam. Many a times, people think you have to make someone poor to become rich. It is shown that the rich people they are very selfish people. And if you want to be rich then you have to become selfish and scam people. Basically, they consider value creation a zero-sum game. Whereas this is not the truth. Jeff Bezos is not rich because he is evil. He is rich because he creates such services and products which people need and buy from them. And understand this thing, doesn't matter, the person is bad or good if he gives you valuable thing then you will buy from him. That's why, focus on becoming such a person who provides value. That's why, always remember this thing. Massive amount of money is created when massive amount of value is created in the society. And that is delivered properly. This is what rich people understand due to which they break the matrix and do big things in life. Whereas this is not the belief system of poor people. Sixth is, the luck scam. This is a 10 rupee coin. Let's play a game. I toss the coin and put in the hands. Tell, heads, or tail. Suppose, you said tails. And I saw, this is tail. Right? So, are you lucky? Let me fly one more time. Now you say. If you said tail, no, this is heads this time. Means that, are you unlucky? No. Obviously, you didn't get lucky or unlucky by tossing a coin. There were 50 to 50% chances. You missed, that's fine. But imagine, if I toss the coin again and if I tell you that I will give you $10 million if you are right, suddenly, if you said heads and you won then many a times, people will start considering lucky. Or if they say tails, then they will start considering unlucky. Because now, the money element has come. Whereas, money doesn't matter. Because odds were 50 to 50, then and now also. Okay, let's make it more interesting. Suppose, let me start tossing the coin. You will get chance 10 times to answer. Now you think that your luck chances will increase. Because you will be right at least one time. There are very high chances that you will be right. Well, this is entrepreneurship, or content creation, anything you can say. If you bring product service in the market, many a times, it won't work. But it doesn't mean that there is any flow inside you, or you're unlucky. No. You were taking just a shot, and shot got missed. You passed or failed, maybe. 
But the thing is if you keep tossing memes, if you keep trying different businesses, different content then you will get lucky at least one time. Because, this is entrepreneurship. Repeating. Sometimes people say someone said in comments section, I told you also that I lucky. I told you about this in last video. But I am not lucky. I just keep making content. One of the video gets hit and get million views. Similarly, you also can get lucky. Just focus on three things. Intuition. Sometimes people follow their guts. They keep working, follow their guts and it makes them feel luckier. Second, bring routine in your life. Like, I upload one video every week. Sometimes, more. Similarly, if you keep the routing maintained and keep creating the content then you can get more luckier. Third, always be more positive and thankful. These three things will help you get luckier. Seventh belief that you have to focus on is the frugality scam. That says, defense 99% and offense 1%. There are many such finance creators who have taken things to the extreme. At starting, they used to tell many good things. I used to like them. But now things have started getting extreme. Many people. Use this card, use these tips and tricks, you will save this much money. Frugality scam. It is trying to put us in the middle class trap, unknowingly or unknowingly, they are trying they are making you focus on defense. Like, I told, defense 99%. 99% people stay defensive for their money. Have to save money only 1% people are offensive. Let me buy this book, let me buy this course, let me do this and that. They are not afraid. They stay offensive and take some action. Trust me, I have been offensive in my life. I didn't focus on saving money. I have wasted money, sometimes. But it's fine, what happened? I gave you the example of coin, earlier. Many a times, I said heads and got tails. For example, I decided something and that didn't happen. My money got wasted. Due to this, my fear started decreasing and I started doing new things. And because of trying new things, you are watching my videos. I am getting money through YouTube. Are you getting it? I would like to say one thing frugality is a scam. Being frugal is a good thing, but you should not do in the starting. I think, you should focus on gaining experiences. Don't get scared. Especially when you are under 30s. After 30 seconds, you can be more precautions. But play more offensive. Because remember, suppose poverty is your enemy and that is attacking you, as long as you stay defensive and try to escape poverty till then you won't be rich. If you have to become rich then you have to be offensive and attack the poverty which can cause you loss but it's okay. Only then you can remove poverty. And can move forward. Make sense? So, start ending this belief if you want to get out of matrix and middle class trap. Now let's talk about the eighth belief that won't let you move forward that is the compound interest scam. Wall Street ain't making you rich. The author has a very strong opinion on this, he says that the bubble of compound interest is not so good. Because of three things, it can ruin you. First is, time, reality and inflation, which he calls tricycle debunks. First truth, which is important for you to understand, first truth is about time. See, in compound interest we think about getting rich on hopes. I hope I am alive for this many years. I hope this money will keep increasing with this percent. I hope I will keep getting this much market yield, if I keeps investing for such a long time. Basically, the whole game is about hope. Whereas in reality, wherever we invest in financial market, that is dependent on the assets and the companies. And sometimes, those companies and assets don't sustain. You know, maximum businesses get failed. And those who are doing good business won't give you much return. And third truth is of inflation. 1 crore rupees had a lot of value 10 years ago, but today 1 crore has not much value. Today, I won't get a 2 BHK house in Mumbai. Only 1 BHK house is available in a good society. Even it costs more money. Basically if you are investing today and think that I will become a millionaire, then the value of that 1 crore will be very less because of inflation. You won't be able to achieve that dream life, which you are thinking today, that you can achieve. So, these were the 8 beliefs which is very important to break, if you want to get out of the trap. 
Then comes biases. There are some biases in our mind, which don't let us move forward. These biases are related to change. All of us don't love changes. 99% of the people are afraid of change. That's why they choose a secure way of job because they don't want uncertainty. They want to be certain that I will go for this much time will work for 8 hours and will get this much salary. Whereas entrepreneurs are very different from it. They know that their salaries will keep changing sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. And because they have high risk appetite that's why they are able to make so much money that's why they are able to hire such people who don't have risk taking appetite, who are afraid of change. That's why you have keep yourselves far from the bias of change. Second is, being right. Bias of righteousness. 99% people are okay with being poor and right as compared to being rich and wrong. Sometimes, I ask people to buy this book or course, they say that this book won't bring any change, I invested money but nothing happened. And it happened multiple times. When I asked my friends to do this, then they deny and say, it will cause loss. Due to this, they are right many times but they remain poor. As I told in this video earlier, entrepreneurs are not afraid of telling the possibility while tossing, they do mistake 10 times. Because they know, once they are right everything will be fine. Getting it? They are wrong many times. I have taken many such decisions in my life 99% of people will say, it was wrong. For example, network marketing. But when I did this, I came to know, what was right and what was wrong. Due to which, you can say, I was able to grow in my life. I am giving you this example. I have taken many such wrong decisions. But due to that habit of taking wrong decisions one decision turned out right I did YouTube. Again, many a times people don't try to do YouTube because according to their logical brain 7 years ago, there was no career on YouTube. People didn't make money, especially in India. So, that was absolutely wrong, but still I did that thing. Similarly, instead of being right always you can focus on taking risk. Semelwashing, unconventional compels conventional reactions. Earlier, you know people used to believe that the earth is flat, not oval or round. What you think when a wise would have said for the first time that the earth is round not flat? Then what did people do? Praised him or rewarded him? No, people punished him and killed him. And it happens many times. Whenever you try to do unconventional things then you can get friction from multiple places, and in order to avoid this friction we don't focus on choosing other path apart from traditional path. This is a bias with which you should fight. You see, if you want to do something, for example, you want to become content creator maybe 99% of the people consider it a bad thing, but there are 1% people who are making good amount from content creation. If those 1% are able to do it then try to understand, you can also do it. Next is podium popping. Because of this example, a confusion arises. Sometimes, we think that suppose Zishan has been doing book summaries then we should do the same. We also should use animation software like him, we also should create similar book summaries we should do exactly same things. But again, this is a bias which isn't right. Mentors will never ask you to do same things they are doing. No. Every person is different. And every person has different uniqueness, strength and weaknesses. Their conditions and timings are different. So we should understand it. We shouldn't be biased that this person did exactly this then I will also follow his steps exactly only then I'll move forward. No. Every person is different, the life of every person is different, every person has a different pen, from which he can write his different story and he should write also. So, understand this also. Next bias is survival spotlighting. Recently, there was a bubble of startups. A lot of people started startup. Because some of the few spotlight hero of startup their heavy marketing was being done. Due to which, people had focus on the people who were successful. By seeing this spotlight a lot of people started making wrong decision, that we also want to do startup. But they were not understanding that if you choose startup by dropping out from college the you will become rich. It doesn't happen like this. You should understand that startup is very tough thing, maximum people fail in it. Yes, if you understand that maximum times, you will get failure still you have interest in entrepreneurship you love adding value in the life of people you love hiring and making business you love doing grand things, despite those negativity and problems, then you can think about doing it. Getting it? 
Next bias that can't let us move forward that is momentum paralysis. Sometimes it happens, content creators fail because they think that this is how they have to do things. They make a plan. Making a plan is good. But sometimes, they stick to the plan. For example, when Facebook came, it was a hot or not website. Instagram was a different website earlier. But then the founders of Instagram understood, the thing for which we made it, is not being used much most of the people are posting their photos here. And that is getting more interaction. People are loving that more. So they changed the current plan and made a photo-based app. Similarly if you see, what Mark Zuckerberg has done, it was a photo app earlier but now it has become a real app. People are watching reels more there so they have focused on reels. It's not that they had already planned it, that we have to do this and that, they kept working on the old plan of action. No matter what happens. No. They changed themselves with time. They became adaptable. But maximum people don't do that. They have decided to do that, then they do that only. They are not flexible, due to which they are not able to move forward. That's why you should avoid this bias. These were the two BS of three Boliviano. Last third B stands for bullshits. There are three things in bullshits which you have to focus on. First is crutches. Crutches means the shop of excuses. Maximum people are very bullshits. I talk to a lot of people and while talking, I understand that they are just finding excuses. For example, I told someone that you should make videos, then they say that I don't have a camera. I said, it's okay if you don't have a camera. Shoot with mobile. Then they say, okay I will shoot with mobile but there are audio issues. Then I say, use Adobe Podcast Enhancer software for that. Then they will give some other excuse. Similarly, people give excuses on the solution I give, which is, you can say. Not for me, for them. These excuses, these fairy tales will never let them move forward in life. That's why stay away from this. Avoid excuses. You don't have to be the person who puts all the blame on excuses. That I am not able to do it because of this reason. As long as you keep doing it, till then you won't be able to break the middle class trap. Second that you have to avoid is cliches. Sometimes people make mantras in their life, which they keep using in their life. Like for example, money is the root of all evil. Rich people are thief. All the businessmen are fraud. Oh. So the good people like Rutan Tata or Azim Premji are fraudsters? No. It's not true. Don't keep cliches. Especially bad cliches. Start avoiding them. Third is cults. Sometimes people get inspired from such gurus or leaders after which they follow whatever he says. Whereas if there are good cults cults in the sense there is a group or a strong community where people are helping you grow where your individuality or way of thinking is respected, must go to those places. But if you are going to such places where you are being told specific things to do and you can't question that, you can't change that that it can be kind of a thing which you should avoid. To fight with these bullshits the author tells three bulldozers also with the help of which, you can break these bullshits. Three techniques, you can say. First technique is, Socratic questioning. Basically, whenever you listen something start questioning that. Is that thing making sense or not? When you start questioning, you will understand that nothing is black and white. Whenever I questions, I come to understand that whatever people say even I say whatever I am saying, is not 100% true or whatever I am saying, is not 100% wrong sometimes it is right, sometimes it is wrong that depends on circumstances which you should understand. That's why, keep questioning like Socrates. Second is, the cancer corollary. If I explain with a simple example, people get hooked from other person's story that I won't listen to this guy because he is very young or old or very old-fashioned thinker. Or he is like this and that. Whereas if you want to learn something have to do something in life, and you think that other person has its answer then his backstory becomes irrelevant. It shouldn't matter, what his caste religion or race he belongs to. If you think that he is good in business and I can learn business from him, then you should learn from him. No need to learn everything. But if that person has what you need, then you should accept that. Third is, identity cataclysms. The author says, whatever you are teaching then try to apply yourself in your life. 
And when you apply that and after that you do that then more people will like you and will understand you. And will also follow you. Like, let me give you my example. I wanted to be a business coach. But then I understood that I didn't do much business the thing I am good at, is content creation. Especially I am good in content writing. That's why I focused on all these things. Teaching content writing, teaching content creation because I have an experience of 6 to 7 years and produced good results. That's why, by focusing on your strengths take actions related to that. By stealing someone else's identity don't try to put a fake identity which you aren't. These were the three BS, in which there are beliefs, biases and and I have given all the solutions also. But still, if you see, only this part has been covered, if you want me to explain the diagram further then I won't be able to do it here, the video will be very long. If you want me to make a series, and share everything. There are many interesting things in this book, which if you want me to share, then comment down that you want next part, then I will make one more video. Keep the channel subscribed and bell icon pressed so that you can know whenever I upload its next part. So, do it. That's it for now. If you haven't watched the first part of this video then must watch that. It will come here or there. Must watch that video. The link would be in description and i button. People make the courses and then they shares all these things, I am sharing these things for free, that's why, appreciate that thing, and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon, so that I can keep giving such things for free. Okay? That's it for now. See you in the next video.